<laughs> that was good guys hello guys today we're making a jig stone fly nymph I was always wondering how the coarse fish in the canal going to react to a nymph during the colder months in the depths of autumn and winter. Today we're going to make that nymph and try it out on a canal when the water is cold and the vegetation have died down and see if the coarse fish is active. I have a jig hook in the vise, size 8, with a 4 mil tungsten bead. These are the tools I'm going to use. If you want to know how to make any of them, I'll leave the link in the description. We're going to use brown thread and 6 odd. Then we'll bring the thread to the bead. This is a skirt for a bass jig. I like the legs on it, they're good quality and they're soft. And I have lots of the skirts, so I'm going to take this brown leg out of it. I'm going to bend it in half, slide it under the thread, and tie it down. Touching turns, bring the thread to the bead. Now we'll cut uh, the tail. So we want it far as there. And this is a stretchy cord. I bought it in a jewelry store. It's used for necklaces and bracelets. It's about one millimeter thick. And if we just apply it on the hook as it is, it's going to be too bulky at the back. There's going to be a big step. So we need to make it thinner. We're going to soften it with a lighter flame. Put it directly under, not too close, a little bit further. And then once it starts to get warm and soft, we'd feel it and, and we'd be able to pull it and make it thinner. Attach it at the bead. Catch it on slightly. And then while stretching, rapid touching turns. That would ensure a smooth body underneath when we're wrapping, so there's no lumps and bumps. And then touching turns back towards the bead. And then we stop about 3-4 mil before the bead, because we need this room for the thorax of the nymph. One of my favorite leg materials is a film from a cassette for a boombox type radio. When we stretch it, it becomes skinny like this. And when we tie a knot into it, it will resemble a leg. I have cut a section of it, it's about 3 centimeters long. This is a hook for crocheting going to fold it over and then twist the hook around and that that will create a loop and then I will have the tag end there and with the hook I'm going to pull it pull it through the loop I'll tighten it and then we have a leg with a little joint in it I got a pair of legs ok 
cash it in with two turns. Make sure they're on the sides. Three more turns. This is brown shape wool. Let's apply it to the tread. And now we're going to wind it back and forward in between the legs, making the thorax and separating the legs so they stand out. And this is a piece of brown artificial leather material. I have cut a strip three millimeters wide. Let's cut a V into it. It was not the best V, so I have tied it up a little bit. Here we go, now it's better. We're going to put it on the top to where the start of the V just covers the thorax and take two turns. That's one and that's two. And when we unravel, we can see a mark. That's where we're going to cut it. I got another V, going to put it on the top, just so it's a little bit shy of the edge of the other V, one or two mil. More ship wool dubbing. And the whip finish. Let's cut the legs. Here we go, we have a nice little nymph with the tail that's going to wiggle, with the body that is a tapered and segmented, with the thorax, with nice legs, and even wing buds. A few coats of varnish and we'll be ready to go. Nymphs are ready, let's check size and weight. Together with the tail it's pushing 3 cm and then the body itself it's 1.5 cm long. So if at any point I feel that I'm getting bites and not hooking I can trim the tail to make the overall nymph size smaller. It weighs 0 0.6 of a gram. Let's put her in the box and take it out fishing. I'm gonna put them here with the purple leeches and damsel nibs.
Hello guys, we are on the canal again. We're going to be trying our brown stonefly nymph. It's the end of November. I'm not sure how the car sphere is going to behave, as they did behave pretty good in the summer, but the water temperature and the, and the weed in the canal were totally different. Now it's way colder, and all the weed, it seems to me, that have died down. So let's see. Let's give it a go and see and see what we can do. We have fished for three kilometers now. Let's keep going. Five kilometers, guys. Five kilometers does it equal five kilo pike or a uh, five kilo bream. <laughs> <laughs> that was good guys Look at that This is makeshift lures and I approve this nymph What a day guys a lesson learned during the colder months and depths of the autumn and winter the coarse fish is not that active I have only one little perch to show for my efforts today so I'm gonna scrap the idea of nymphing in the in the colder months for coarse fish anyway and next episode perhaps I'll go after pike and see what we can do I'm gonna take some rest and think of a new lure for our box.